Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am first priming my face with the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser from Maybelline. Um, I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend this into my skin, which is great when I'm using my foundation using the same sponge because the primer sinks into the foundation as I'm applying it and it literally just makes your foundation look even more flawless. I learned this tip from Nikki Tutorials which you need to go check out her channel. The two foundations I am using is from Maybelline and it's Super Stay Better Skin in the colour Nude and the Rimmel London um, Satin Finish in the colour Ivory. I mix them two together and apply it with the same sponge and I'm applying this all over my face and blending it in. I do this, this bit of the makeup look takes the most time because I like to not cake it on but I want a really good full coverage for my base so that's what I do especially as I'm not really concealing anything today as I don't have any spots or anything and the look looks fine without concealer I don't want to pack too much on I'm literally just blending that everywhere and yeah it just looks great with this look unless you have spots or anything you really want to cover up like bags or anything you don't need to use concealer don't feel like you always need to use concealer because you don't blending this in with my hands just to smooth it all out and then I will be going in with some bronzer this bronzer is from collection and it's called bronze glow and I'm literally applying that all over my face and into the bits where I would usually contour I'll then be bringing this down my neck just to blend everything out. This um, bronzer isn't too dark, so I like to just gradually build up the um, bronze colour to the colour how I'd like it. And for this look, I really want to look bronzed and glowy, so I will be just keep gradually adding this on to my face. Sorry about my eyebrow guys, it will keep falling down as I brush my face because it is overgrown and it needs doing. But I really needed to get a video up for you guys so I had no time to go and get my eyebrows done. I've been so busy and look at it just hanging there. Oh, Sorry guys, but I had no time to get it done so far. I wanted to get a video up for you guys so... You're going to have to just put up with it for now, I'm afraid. If you can see, the bronze colour is starting to gradually add up. And it's giving my face a more tanned look, which I need because I'm pale as fuck. Excuse my French. I'm just blending this down my neck to make sure that my face and my neck are the same colours. My damn eyebrow. It's just one eyebrow. Can you notice, like, this cannot just be me that this happens to. Please comment down below if this actually does happen to you because... I really don't want to be the only one here, the only one with bushy eyebrows getting their blusher brush stuck in it and pushing it down or whatever. I know eyebrow gel will keep them in place but for this look I just literally did my had my eyes already done, I didn't put gel on my eyebrows so that's why they're falling down but yeah. Going in with some blush, I'm using the Revolution um, contour kit and I'm just building this into my cheeks and starting from the apples of my cheeks I'm going to blend it up into the um, cheekbone. I really love this blusher because it has a golden tone to it. It's a pink colour with a golden tone if you understand what I'm trying to say. It does just look so pretty and it has like a little bit of a highlight to it which I love especially when I want to have glowy skin. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit um, I'm going in with a bronze highlight and just going on top of where I have put the um, blusher and onto my chin and forehead. I'm 
Then going in with Sunburst, which is my favourite highlighter in this kit. I am going to be intensifying the highlight on my cheekbones and on the top of my eyebrow. So I'm just going to gradually add the colour on. And if you know me, you know I love really bright highlight on my cheekbones. Why not? Who doesn't want bright highlight? Like, please tell me. If, if you don't like bright highlight, we are not friends. That's what I'm just saying. Sorry, guys. Well, yeah, it's true. It's awesome. Then I'm just using the highlighter on the tip of my nose, on the bridge of my nose, and on the tip of my lips and the bottom of my lips. Um, doing the highlight on these places in your lips, it makes your lips appear larger and more plump. And especially when you're doing a glowy look, I just feel it has to be done. It literally just does. Then using my fingers, I'm going to put even more highlight on, because why not? And this literally just gives my face such a good glow. Using translucent powder from Rimmel London, um, the Stay Matte, I'm just going to be applying that onto all the bits that looks to me a bit oily and I don't want to be too shiny, so I'm mainly going to be doing this on the areas I don't want to be highlighted and on the T-zone of my face. I'm going to be very careful not to get it too much on the highlight so I'm going to just dab it into the corners of my nose and just drag it down just so I don't take away the highlight. Then going with an, in with a small brush I'm going to add some contour just a little bit onto my cheekbones and a little bit onto my jawline just to define my jaw a little bit more. I was going to go without um, contour but I'll be honest with you guys I cannot go really without a day without contour I need it. Then I'm just going to finish the look off with some pink lip gloss and this turns into matte and I just love it, it's beautiful. But this is the finished look guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did could you please give it a big thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, it's free, just click the red button and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye!